great engineering spectacle. A landmark structure in Glasgow. That will be the project of my career that I'll look back on with good memories. This part of the river has been a historic crossing point. In the 1960s, as Clyde Tunnel was opened, they decided to end the ferry in Govan. Suddenly, two communities grew apart. Within touching distance across the river, there was this lovely, shiny Zaha Hadid built museum. The Govan's an area of low car ownership. People couldn't get to it. We carried out a consultation event with the communities and they both wanted that connection back across the river. Two completely different communities. These people live here, they've got businesses here, in particular the Riverside. They're not just opening the doors to the general public, they run exhibitions, they've got a lot of things, are part of Glasgow life. We could get 10,000 people a weekend while we're in the middle of piling. There's vibration, there's heavy plant, lorries in and out. Communication's definitely key. The social value is really, really important to make sure that the community were on the journey with us from start to finish and make them feel part of it. The setting of this bridge is next to the Riverside Museum. It needed to be a bit more than just basic. There was engineering issues as well, preventing it being simple. Building a bridge on the Clyde through all the seasons, a natural break between the two sides was challenging. But to do it with Farns, who had such experience in delivering bridges of this size and this magnitude, a once in a lifetime opportunity in your career that you're going to work on something like this. We also had a few other bridges ongoing at the same time. Herring Bridge in Norfolk and Gullwing down in Lowestoft. All projects are different and your approach really defines how you deliver. Problem solving features quite highly in how we think. And having been with Farns for so long, we can adapt our programme, think beyond just the usual and come up with novel approaches. We had a large barge being manoeuvred to share items of plant, share resource. It's definitely the coordination between north and south sides of the river and two independent teams. At tender stage, the client envisaged the bridge being built in situ. From previous experience, building the main steel work off-site would allow all the civil works that we were doing, putting the coffer dams in, building the abutments, doing all the dredging, run those activities side by side, whilst the bridge fabrication was happening in Belgium. All done in a controlled environment, all within factory conditions. Farins were committed to delivering the project. And from day one, you got that sense of professionalism, sense of camaraderie between everyone involved. And yeah, there were challenges along the way, but Farins didn't hide from those. They were always there working collaboratively to solve any issues. This project had everything island, had earthworks, it had concrete works, problem solving every day. Farns put that process in place of check and check again. So you could see problems before they happen and you were able to plan for that and change. Communication was top class, just that sense from day one that this was a joint project. Everyone was pulling in the one direction to try and make this happen. From the first day we were on site to the day the bridge opened and the public walked across, the client was there. It was a team of different personalities, different technical abilities. Everybody came together, everyone had a common goal. We did have a young team of apprentices, graduates, there was all our supply chain. Everybody worked through it professionally. They knew they were delivering a landmark project. It's been the most successful footbridge we've ever done, used hugely and instantly liked by the public. It's always been more than just about building a bridge, it's what that means in terms of the social and economic impact. People have been able to cross the river here for hundreds of years and for a 60 year period they weren't able to and we've fixed that. It's been really successful and acting as a catalyst for people to move forward with these sites. It's a missing key link that's going to bring so much opportunities. We built brilliant relationships. We gave them the respect that they were due. This is the best day ever in the history of government, people saying. It's just been a very positive response about it. It's not just about state structure and concrete. It was, it was everyone's project. And I think the bridge here is testament to that.